Hi everyone, welcome back to Meeting House Live, where we are not actually meeting. And we're not actually live. It is Wednesday, April 29th, and I'm your host, Andrew Zhao. And I'm Leah Appleton. Last week we were able to catch a glimpse of how some people are spending their time. This week we wanted to highlight all the ways music has been an outlet. Let's go to Elsa, 12-month TikTok expert, to teach us a dance move. Hi, I'm going to show you how to do a dance move. Kick, step, touch. Kick, step, touch. Can I arms? Wow. Great dance. Hey, Leah, why do people say break a leg before dancing performances? That's like, that's like the opposite of what you want, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's meant to be ironic? And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like if I said to you, I hope you screw up all your lines before we started recording for Meeting House Live today. While some people sing and others dance, some of us simply like to, to judge the music we listen to and say whether or not it's good or bad. It's definitely a no for me, dog. So, with the tune of the week, we're going to send it to Josh Stanky. Hello, everybody. Today I'll be reviewing Wham! Make it big. Whammy! 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 Most popular song from this vinyl is Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, which will play shortly after this. Um, this vinyl is incredible. Absolute musical genius. I mean, the words are so intricate and poetic, and it really makes you wonder. Did, did they wake him up before they went? Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Thanks, Josh. All right, let's send it to Elise with this week's tasty treat. Behind me is screaming for Bikini Bottom's newest culinary sensation. Let's take a listen. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my favorite quarantine snack. I got my Oreos and put two in like a little cup thing, I guess. I saw this on TikTok, so I add a little bit of milk, I think. That was too much. Then you just have to like crush it. All crushed up. It looks kind of gross, but just trust the process. So now we're gonna put it in the microwave for like 40 seconds. And it's done. So basically, I just made some cake and it's really yummy. And yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Elise. As it continues to get warmer, the more we all get to be outside and work on our tans. Let's send it over to weather. And seriously, folks, wear sunscreen. Medic! We'll be right back! Stellar weather. I've been enjoying a lot of walks and bike rides lately. Yeah, I have too. Actually, most of my fun time has been spent riding my bike or honestly trying to get better at Minecraft. Uh, hey, Leah, we're about to head to Arts and Culture Corner, and I was curious, do you eat bread? Do bears poop in the woods? We, we just pooping! We just pooping! Uh, I guess I've never thought about it. Yeah, I, su I suppose they do. Well, there's your answer. Of course I eat bread. Okay, okay. Well, how about, do you like wild chickens? I do. Much better than caged chickens. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, final question. How do you feel about surprise endings in movies? I love them. Great. You're going to love this animation coming from our own Violet Harrell and Rhoda Wonders. All right, Leah, another great week. Let's finish with our favorite segment, Pet Corner. Let's send it to Jack Norman with his beloved dog, Penny. Hi, this is Penny. Penny is a golden retriever. You said Penny? 
Pace it. She can shake, pain shake. No, shake. Good girl. Good penny girl. She seems so sweet. Yeah, she really is. She's an icon in the high school youth group. Uh, well, that's all we have for this week. Wait, and Andrew, I forgot to tell you. We have a double edition for this week's Pet Corner. Whoa, that's, that's awesome. Uh, is, it, is it your dog? Is it, is it Ava's dog? Is it, is it my dog? Here's the thing. While we at Meeting House Live love dogs, dogs are not the only pets possible. Ooh, okay, so we're, we're going to showcase a cat. Did Madison finally get that hairless cat? <laughs> no, even better. Let's send it to Paige with her pet, Moss Ball. Hi everyone, I'm Paige and welcome to Animal Corner. Today I will be talking about my pet moss ball, Henrietta. The story behind Henrietta is that I really wanted a pet fish, but I have two cats. So I knew that wouldn't work out, so then I went to the pet store and I saw they had moss balls. And moss balls typically um, go into a betta fish tank and they like purify the water and clean it, but you're welcome to just have one on your own. Wow, what a truly special moss ball. Indeed it is. And that's all we have for this week. Thanks for joining us and tune in next time. This has been Meeting House Live, where we're not actually meeting. And we're not actually live. Good night, everybody.